Thank you. So you've played such trailblazing icons before. Would you say that when you portray James Brown, when you portray Jackie Robinson, that you fully committed to being those men both on and off screen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. To a certain to a certain degree. Yeah. So did you turn it off on screen or no? You have to turn it off at some point because you gotta go to sleep. So yeah. then how does portraying Black Panthers differ from that? Is there a such thing as fully becoming Black Panther? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's there's I think to answer your question, because it's a it's an acting technique question more so than anything. Um you know, you have to find what's healthy for you and what's healthy for the people around you. Um, you have to know when you detox and when you don't, and when you talk to your family and when you don't. And uh, So for James Brown, for instance, I knew that I couldn't talk to my team that I work with because I would fire everybody <laughs> if I um, if I talked to them. I had to, I had to talk to them at, at uh, you know, ungodly hours when I was too tired to stay in that space anymore um, and then answer questions the next time I talked to them after I had time to meditate on it. Uh, you know, 42 was a different experience because it was a more quiet experience. He, more, he internalized um, the issues that he was dealing with uh, as opposed to expressing them. So I could listen to people um, but and he wouldn't respond. Uh, this experience is more um, one where it's it, it was I was more able to 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 deal with people. They just had to deal with listening to T'Challa. Um, he's a more he's more diplomatic, and he's a person that considers family. Uh, so it was a great time to talk to everybody. It's a great time. They just had to listen to me in that in that accent. Now, last question I want to know because T'Challa. He doesn't really get a chance to mourn his father before he has to step up and be strong. And we see that sometimes with black men in society. There's there's a disconnect between a moment to really be vulnerable. Right. You have to step up and be strong. How does that impact him? And, and how did that impact you? Well, I'm not going to give the movie away. <laughs> but um, what I love about T'Challa is that he I played this character not based upon the superhero aspects of him. Things blowing up and fights and all of that. That he had a he has a very human experience, um, and so this is this movie is about him being vulnerable. Like he can't get he can't complete his arc without the vulnerability of the losses, um, without dealing with death. So in a sense, this entire movie is about that. Still dealing with his father. Okay.